So the first painting you paint a landscape, you paint trees, fields, sky. The second one, you realize all you're seeing is reflections of the sun's light. You just paint light. The third one, you realize all I know is the knowing of my experience, and you paint that knowing. So sorry, I'm just no, filling no. in for for those. No, that thank you. That's great. So, um, my whole thing is, I listen to the teachers and I go home and I l lay down in my bed and I do it until I, you know, until I sit, until I have a direct experience of it. So, I walked, I walked, looking, 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 looking in these three different ways, and and then very similar to that experience, it was like. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's just like one of those pictures that are seamless and you pay attention to it in a certain way and boom, the three-dimensional object goes boom, right there. Yes. By the thought of it. And, and I understood. I understood that three-dimensionality, that realness, of a parent matter is only due to the labeling of it, which pops it out of the hologram, which pops it out of the seamlessness yes. into the into yes. a three D form. Yes, yes. So it it's real. It's All real, but it's made of real, knowing. But its reality is not made out of it, three it, dimensional it's stuff. It's not matter. matter. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it's like, it, just to carry on, it's like three people uh, are sitting on a sofa watching television. And it, it's a, nat it, it's a um, what is it? It's a, a period drama. <laughs> okay. And s a fourth person comes into the room and s says uh, to his friends, what are you looking at? And the first person says, I I I'm watching a film. The second person says, I'm seeing a landscape. And the third person says, I'm seeing a screen. They're all seeing the same thing. Mm -hmm. One of them calls it a screen. One of them calls it a landscape. One of them calls it a movie. It's the same thing here. We're all seeing or experiencing the same thing. That is we, the only we there is, Awareness. Awareness is uh, everyone is s uh, awareness is experiencing the same thing always, but thought gives it three different names: matter, mind, or awareness. We can either see this as a collection of objects, or we can see that it is just seeing or we can know that it is only made of the knowing of it. Now, experience doesn't impose anything on us. We are free to see either a collection of separate objects, or to see only seeing, to see only mind, or to know only the knowing mm -hmm. of experience. In other words, to know only awareness. So that's why I, I said earlier, matter and mind are ways of seeing. They are not things that we actually see. It is a way mm -hmm. of interpreting. All that is ever truly known is knowing. All that awareness ever comes in contact with is itself. It never knows a mind or an object or an other. All of those are only real as objects mm -hmm. from the point of view of a separate subject. But thought has to first overlook awareness, and at that moment we contract into a separate subject inside, and at that moment the world is projected outside. You're stretching the metaphor a little bit, but but um, y th th yes, th th there are three three different possibilities. At that moment of your in, in each case, all that is being seen is the screen. 
There is no, if you go up to it, you don't touch something called a movie, nor do you touch something called a landscape. If you go up to it, and that's what we do here, we go up to our experience, we touch what is it actually made of. In all cases, all three of them, they go up to it, they'll all touch the same thing. In other words, in each case, awareness is only knowing awareness. Awareness is the screen. Awareness never knows anything other than awareness. It never forgets itself. It never overlooks itself. It never knows anything other than itself. But in two of these cases, thought arises, forgets that it is seeing a screen, and imagines that it is seeing either a landscape or a movie. Mind or matter. It's so... give it right back. In the exercise you gave her, you're separating in time three experiences, yes. painted as this way, painted yeah. as... So there's one subject, three different experiences. That's it. Yeah. On the other hand, in the example you gave, they're separated in space in order to have those three experiences. There's space and time co-arising with the experiencing of, of diversity. Or yes, of but these were just two different ways. One was giving, s s saying to, to Donalu, see matter, see mind, and see awareness. Look at the same thing. Go for a walk in the countryside. Try to see matter, try to see mind, and then see that all you're seeing is the knowing of your experience. So, uh, uh, th this three people on a sofa is just a different way of explaining the same, the same thing. But there was one other um, piece to it. And I realized, I, so I watched the, I watched, I watched that 3D. I watched the hologram kept, keep popping out, popping out in different things like, okay, what if I, what if I label it a left hand? It becomes a left hand. It pops out. But it was just part, a moment ago, there was no left hand there. And I'm like, oh, that's how the whole separate, that's how the whole separate self yes. pops out. Yes. So there's this sentence, I am. And the moment thought puts words behind it, I am angry. So be it. Then, then thought said, okay, I am this body in that moment, so and the body it. is angry. Boom, pops out. That's yes. what the hologram has created. Yes. Yes, thought abstracts separate a separate self and and <laughs> separate objects from this we can't actually even name it let's call it the seamless intimacy of experiencing so when you said what are you serving that in that moment i saw that i understood what that teaching also yes. meant yes why would I ever put anything, a limited, conditioned belief, on the end of I am? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> That's why William Blake said, as a man is, so he sees. As we take ourselves to be, so our experience appears in conformity with that belief. Take yourself as a body, you'll see separate objects all around you. Take yourself as a mind, you'll see seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, smelling. Take yourself as awareness, you only know awareness. It's that simple. It's that simple. I'm so grateful to your teachings, which are so clear and so transparent. Thank you.